guy's name's Finn, playing the Curse of the Skull Goblet, or some rearrangement thereof, the third released and just released in the Word Challenge Contest. The notificationary things today are theme, pirate, the main goal, goblet, related to the plot, skull slash head, must be present, bottle, forbidden, spider. Apparently this mission is really hard and I should play it on normal first, so obviously I'm gonna do that. You should read the description for the story. Webster's son is aboard the iron bottle, which you have successfully infiltrated. Not sure if that counts as a bottle there, son. He is probably hiding the Skull Goblet somewhere aboard. Search for information in his quarters in the rear of the ship. Once you've found the information, steal the Skull Goblet! Such a ship may have valuables aboard. Why not loot the place? Gather 500 loot. After doing your job, steal a lifeboat and return home. 500? If they learn that a stranger has infiltrated the ship, or if something happens to them, they'll chase you and your escape will fail. Do not alert Webster Jr., the captain, or the first mate. It seems that the captain scrutinizes everything. If someone is missing, he'll notice. Do not neutralize anyone. Everybody is on guard here. If someone spots you, you'll never reach the city alive. Nobody should be alerted. <laughs> they won't notice any thievery quickly, but it won't be the same for murder. Do not kill anyone. No knockouts, no alerts, no neutralization of any kind, but I do get to buy- well, obviously- 50. Well, it's hardly even worth not buying it. Well, I'm not gonna be- Apparently the forced ghost ends at some point, so we- uh, What am I- uh, If I can't even- If I can't- well, moss arrows actually sound like the best idea, but I've got Creep Crouch Crawl on my side. So, I've got a map of the ship. It's kind of a map of the ship. Actually, not very di Well, actually, no, it is. It's got some rooms and stuff. It's got some... Oh, this is metal. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was dirt. Like, there'd be dirt on the ship. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I normally don't think. Uh, I remember another ship level called Emma's Gold Rust, wherein there were some jump scares. Hopefully, there won't be anything like that here, because... Halloween is is not a coming, and the goose is not a getting fat, and hay pennies are no longer legal tender. Okay. Oh, I've got seven moss arrows. I see. Okay. Well, let's read the tip, which I just remembered. Gee, it sounds like that you want to infiltrate the iron bottle. I uh, know the first mate, Arkhamer, and the Captain Mortibald. <laughs> you will recognize them easily. The first mate is always wearing red cloth, speaking like a street guy, and the captain is an armor and a helmet, speaking like a hammerite. Has an armor and a helmet. <laughs> That's a very, very awkward explanation for why you just use the hammerite voice set and the other voice set. I mean, they're the most important persons, and if they spot you, you may be in trouble. Just keep an open eye on them. Why would he speak like a hammerite? Note to self, Armory Code is 0103. Well, hey, I want all the info at hand. I want 100% everything. And boy, oh boy, Creep Crouch Crawling sure is amazing, full, but it's my own fault for not using moss arrows. There's probably another direction I could go in, but oh, I'm right at the armory. So, it's a 103? Wait a minute, is it really a 103? So, it's almost the same as it is now. <laughs> okay, that's a bit silly. I guess because, you know, you'd never guess that it was similar if you didn't have that code. Whoa, whoa. So, maybe I'll get a blackjack. Well, no, I won't have a blackjack. It doesn't matter. Yes, the readme said that the, the forced ghost ends at some point in the mission. When? Well, it didn't say. So, I guess that's why I'm getting all this stuff, because... Seriously, I can't even see up on those shelves. Look, I don't want to make any noise, alright? Well, want to or not, I guess that this is really kind of like blatantly unfair. I can't see what I'm getting. I mean, seriously, I... <laughs> and I can't see if there's something I'm missing on the back edge of the thing. I guess this is to somehow open the door if I get in here. How... So, uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. I accident—I would accidentally use something. Now, in the dark mod, of course, it's a different key to use than it is to frob, which was a very, very, very good idea. <laughs> Very good idea, despite me possibly complaining about it at one point. Please go back in time and smack myself for doing so. Okay, now. See, now there's... Yeah, I missed this. I can't even... Yeah. Also, there's supposed to be some jaunty music playing in a lot of these places, but, uh... <clears throat> well, you know, I had to get rid of it. Them's... is the breaks. So... 
Whoa, ho, 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 ho. We don't want no throat clearing here. I don't know why that door is open. It's quite disturbing. I am very disturbed. I'm going to walk into my friend's room when he's dead and go, No! I'll be like my imitation. I'm, I know I'm just as good a singer as that guy. I am his equal, you might say. So, I know where I'm supposed to go, kind of. But I'm just going to kind of walk around because, seriously... Worst mission in the contest. <laughs> Let's try this way. I want to see if there's another exit out of the, uh... Hole. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. There's the stairs. There's another exit up that way. Perhaps that will be more... Or, or should I say less eventful? But yeah, if you guys want some jauntier tunage, then play this mission for yourself. It is a little empty feeling, but well, like I said, brakes are broken, and then you crash and die because cars are dangerous. And wow. And, you know, they're safer nowadays, but as a consequence, they look worse, so obviously we should go back to the good old days. If we ever get some real virtual reality going, like super convincing Matrix-style VR, we can go back to everything being based on design without stupid considerations to inconvenient physical issues like safety, because we can just program that in somehow, and we can all drive good-looking cars again. Like that's the that's really the most exciting thing about VR is we can drive good looking cars again. I'm really I'm really excited. Oh man, I just can't freaking wait. So lots of weapons, lots of tiny amounts of loot, by which I mean one tiny amount of loot. <sighs> lots of uh, me breaking my back because just ham oh. Is this a guy or not? Is is that your hat or is it an a note? Is this gold or is it just crap that I don't know who that is, but he seems to not be woken up, and there should be some stairs around here at some point. I didn't notice any, but then again, what do I know? Yeah, that's right, you have an enormous chest whose sole purpose is to hold flares. That's really worthy of a big chest. That's real- Oh, it's like stairs down. Spooky. Well, obviously, we gotta take the stairs down. There could be zombies. Spoiler, I think there could be zombies in this mission, as I saw file name that could notificate such oh I guess I can't go down to the spooky place whoa eerie I'll bet there's supposed to be some real atmospheric music up in here but oh well breaks are broke okay let's skip the third floor for now or the second or un above floor heaven place and just kind of hey, you. stay on our hey, own level whoops okay now, I'm sure that guy is going to be polite and not turn around because I'm just trying to snatch the valuables without getting snatched myself. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Finish that sentence, please. It shall be finished such as, uh, ho. Oh, that's the last thing in this sentence. Hey, I shouldn't even be here. I should be. Should be at a game or something. I be well, you're. Or something. What? You're not the first mate. You're barely even a mate. Nobody's going to mate with you, son. Your life is ruined. You get socked right on sight. To all mate. Because there's only one. I'm fed up with cleaning blood on the dumbwaiter. This device is a tool to send and take back trays, not a lift. Go upstairs with stairs. If someone hurt his head again with it, I'll report him to the captain. Thanks for your attention, your cook. Oh, he's so lovely. And also, this is a dumbwaiter, apparently. Hey, that's great. It actually has some pull, 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 pull holding up things on its side that uh, hold it up for more better realism. I guess that might also be a dumbwaiter, but... Yeah. No, the dumb waiter is just that. Well, that's disappointing. I thought the pulley pulley things were gonna pull. I think that there could be some gold up here. Now that I notice. But I think. Hey! God dang it! I don't know if any of this stuff is valuable. I don't think it is. If it is, I'm just gonna have to. I mean, seriously, five hundred loot. That doesn't sound like a lot, so that's why it probably is. Or this mission is the same as the first and just, you know, has a very lenient loot goal because everything else is not lenient. Ah, so this is the engine room. Now in the readme, Garrett was all, Hey, I could go through the engine room, but it's gonna be loud with some patrols around. There must be another way. But this is a pretty impressive looking engine room with all this coal and everything. Pretty impressive. You best make sure you're not on fire before you even leave the frickin' port. Also, coal is not actually meant to burn on fire with just an open fire like that in an engine. Uh, that is a conspiracy theory for why the Titanic sank, apparently. I don't know, it's just, you know, reading Wikipedia, it's a reliable source. Well, 
I don't know if it's reliable, but it's definitely entertaining. And if you're looking for entertainment, well, they've got you covered. Now, I'm going to have to be careful like the dark mod on this mission because, you know, forced ghost and all. That guy could be another mate. That captain said there was only one mate. Whoops. Okay, so this is why the engine room is hard and why Garrett did not want to go through it because this guy just does not ever cease walking. <laughs> Very short walking patrol, that guy. Excuse me, that's the really dumb thing. <laughs> They're walking one way and then suddenly they just flip around like a stupid non-human, like, whoops! And through no fault of your own, like, I'm just trying to beat him to the door, but instead he's just... Oh, he didn't turn around that time. Well, at least he doesn't turn around to close it like in the dark mod, but seriously, I gotta get out of here. Oh, hey! That's awesome! Some sort of a custom shoveling motion that looks very stiff and awkward, but... I mean... You know... That's fine. It's it's a custom motion. Apparently that's pretty hard, so... Yeah... Uh, uh. Well, while you're off looking around or whatever... Uh, I'll just stay here, shall I? Yes. Yes, I think that would be best. He's looking again. Oh my god. Well, I'm buggered. No. I'm not buggered. Great, I never really wanted to be buggered anyway. Wait, not, no, I am. You're mine. Yep. Very loud. That's actually a pretty clever use of uh, area brush room brushes on the map or something. Wait a minute. No, it is. Is that always yellow? It shows, like, the level that I'm on, but it also shows this. That's crazy. How would you even... How would you even do that? I thought it's based on room brushes or something weird. Yeah, now that we know this is a way, I'm gonna try the better way, because seriously. That, however... Just nothing. I think... I shouldn't even be here. I should be... I should be in a game. Yeah. Okay, so now that I... Shut up. Now that I've got a substantially goodly portion towards my total loot, I'll, uh... Just go upstairs on this unsightly, miserable ship with no music whatsoever, because I got rid of literally all of it. It's freaking amazing. Please use stock resources, or be extremely clear where you got it, because, yeah, well, you don't... Ha oh, yeah, there's the dumbwaiter. I could have taken that up. Uh, well, you don't have to at all. It would just be convenient for me, but nobody has to do anything for me, because I'm just playing a mission on the internet, and... Oh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like how one of these light fixtures is rotated. Really adds to the grimy atmosphere, I guess. Okay. All right, all right, let's go another way this time. Uh, this isn't... this isn't too hard for me. Oh, wait a minute, I somehow... Oh my god, I did the same thing. God, I just can't resist opening a chest. But it's a mean joke. I mean, I can't believe authors are still doing that. <laughs> Uh, okay, that is the mean chest. Is this a mean ch- Like, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to cheaty quick save myself. And there sure are a lot of crates every time I do this, because it's just gonna be mean. Well, I mean, I mean seriously. Well, it'd be funny if it was in a locked chest, even. I think that may have happened once or twice. I think. Actual loot. Amazing. Did that guy say, why don't you just come out, or did he say something else? Hey, this reminds me of that, uh, Zeppelin mission. I mean, it's a different kind of ship, this, but still a ship. Looks like it's nothing. Yeah, this ain't too hard for me. What are you freaking talking about? It's super easy. Not again. Not again. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Okay. So, really, I have to go towards the back of the ship, but... I guess that's there, so really I'm going the completely wrong way. But you know, just exploring. Gotta get some loot. Fire the cannon. Hey, maybe I can fire the cannon. That would be pretty uh, awesome. I need to calm down. Got loot? No. Only the easy guy has got loot. It's very convenient for me. Usually don't move by themselves. No. But this must be one of those new high-tech ones. Whoa, hey. You're not fooling me. I saw this strange contraption. It was a wooden crate with a metal door. I guess for extra security, they put a metal door in the wooden crate. I think th that's fully and completely secure. All right, all right, all right. Careful there. Careful. Don't want to get... 
killed or busted. I had a nice clown suit, by the way. You are, uh, you are not wearing red. You're wearing yellow or something, so you're probably not the first mate. Yeah, I'm not even anywhere close to the first matey place. Please don't turn around this way. Please instead circle. Thank you. Ooh. Nice. Hey, it's sparkling and possibly Z-fighting and everything. Oh, I love this apple. It's like all crystal and faceted and goro shaded. Goroud. Or whatever. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah, it is Z-fighting, but it looks like it sparkles. So they probably did it on purpose. Weird. Uh, anyway, I'm not supposed to be here. So let me just head on towards the back. I suppose you have any loot on you, sir? No. Well, I maybe you could sell these arrows for a few pence. Pence is a currency in the thief world, right? No, it isn't. Gold is a currency, and naught else. Not rice, nor beans, nor barley. Oh boy, this sure is some exciting gameplay. Also, apparently the readme is like, oh, hey, you know, if you want two different atmospheres, you can have two different atmospheres. So you can, like, uh, you turn fogging off, and you get that, which looks like more colorful and you can see the water. But you can also see the edge of the water, so really, yeah. I mean, uh, well, that also looks a bit weird. Well, anyway, fog for life. Hey, here's a door, but, you know, I kind of want to go around the edge of the, the ship, but, uh, whoa. That's a strange way to make a boat there, I'm telling you. There could be something cool around the edge. Okay, scouting time for serious. I don't even have any time to scout, actually, because I'm going to game over right about now. Yeah. And even if I did get ahead, I would have to deal with that guy wiping the stuff up. This is a really cool look at that. Man, missions these days have a hugely high count. Oh, lurry count. Okay, so the guy just opened the door and then he went Someone's right back in. Out. What? Bloody AIs not knowing what the hell walking is. Seriously, if you're gonna... What are you doing? Running in circles? Why? Just... Oh my god. What an id. That's short for idiot. Oh, what an asshole. Come on. What was that noise? Who's that there? Dude. Identify your well, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now I have to go around this side, and he's blocking the way. It ain't my fault. Jeez. Don't put a weird ramp tight passageway thing there. AIs are not good at navigating. Wow. Thought that was a big hammer, but in fact, it's not a troll hammer, and it's in fact just a big broom. Please turn around again. I mean, I did pick expert, so yes. Yes, my fault. Just out of curiosity, what would happen if you went to normal? Do not kill. Do not have the important people notice you. But you can have other people. Oh, I see. So it is expert that has the force go. Hmm. Oh. My god, Th this is this is what ghosting is like. The other guy's gonna come around this- Oh! Like, has this guy finished being a goddamn moron yet? Finally! Oh my... God! Girl! Jeez, okay, so I'm, I'm headed around uh, this sort of direction. What about this? What about this, eh? It's like an upper floor above the coal place. Wait a minute. If I could just come through here, could I? Probably. He even specifically said play on normal if you want to scout the place out. <laughs> so yeah, let's just count our chickens and be thankful, all right? All right. Ooh. Everything's spooky today on this spook show. It's a pretty spooky show. A bee spooky. That's a carnival ride that is like super cheesy, but not. It's got stained glass windows with spiral eyed guys looking at you. They're very scary. So if you're a kid at the PNE, then close your eyes and you'll never see that ride again. That's crazy. Oh, to see that ride that I closed my eyes on at the PNE. I so wanted to see it again. And. If I did, I'd probably be like, holy crap, it was everything that I'd ever imagined that it would be. I'm so satisfied with my life, now my head's going to explode. Could, you know, I don't find myself wishing for this often, but perhaps like a readable or two wouldn't go amiss for some flavor here. Just saying. Hopefully that guy does not get stuck again at the door. He very well might, though. Oh, now there's a bowl in the lock. You know what? This isn't cool. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Why am I laughing? Strange noises. It's a really mean 
joke. I mean, it's bad enough to put a hammer in an unlocked chest, but then to have a chest that is locked, and it's still a blank item. I mean, jeez. I had a dream that I was hired by Looking Glass Studios back in their heyday, and their building was this huge, enormous, multi-floor building that was, like, real old, and parts of it were disused. And, uh, it was all maze-like, and all the offices were separate from each other. It was creepy. One guy was way upstairs in a corner office that looked all creepy. Somebody else is somebody else. And then I went into the cafeteria and tried to make some, uh, tacos with ground round in them, and everybody started singing a jaunty yet creepy song because it had an old tape effect on it. I don't know. It's, it's all true. I just love that weird, uh, happy yet sad feeling of the, uh, old stuff where it's like everybody was super happy, but yet it's all old and rusty, so at the same time it's minor key. Yeah, that's right. Quick save before opening a chest. That's right. That's right, Fen. Do it like I said you should. Do it like you should to... Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, so avoiding the guy is not too tough. But reminiscing is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be a funny joke here. No. There's going to be a funny joke here. No. Well, at least he's friendly enough not to do a joke when there's a guy just sitting there. At least that's the case. Gotta be careful for dudes coming in here, though. I guess probably comes in at this end or something. Eventually, there's gonna be a door leading outwards. That's what I'm guessing. I just keep expecting to see, like, funny notes. I mean, if I was sitting here, I would make a diary. And then everyone could read it, because never read a girl's diary, wink, overly girly talk. But you can read a guy's diary, because seriously, some people just use gendered phrases where it really doesn't have anything to do with anything. What is this? Maybe this takes me back down to the other side of the coal room. In which case the dude is probably that dude that caught me one time here. Ah. Uh, what? I really can't? But that's seriously an object. Look at the way that's weirdly lit. I mean, oh my god. Well, this mission is just a lot of chest. Man, those apples look so good. They look like precious gems. But really, I mean... I think there could be more. Yeah, there definitely could be more readables in these places. Just, I mean, they don't have to be important. Just, like, funny little things or something. Like, oh, the captain, he sure is a hard ass. And the captain's like, I gotta be a hard ass when you give me crap clients like this, sonny boy. And, uh, you know, stuff like that that you do in this game of being attractive. It's kind of the point of playing thief. Oh. Oh, a readable. Anyways, there's a feather also on the ground. I don't know why, but hey. And it's going to be the longest one in history, right? Sea Man. I'm sorry. No, it's Sea Man. Not going to say it otherwise. Rob's Journal. You gotta always watch your back in this creaky old tub. I'm not easy about Davis's boys. What if some of them were sent by the Pergans? You mean the Pagans? We don't talk about it much, but I know they aren't fool enough to attack the iron bottle directly. Nah, they'll try to sneak in any way they can. Just yesterday, I noticed a guy patrolling upstairs, but then I couldn't find him. And guess what? Found him downstairs near our quarters. What the taff was he doing there? He said we got the nearest toilet, which is true, but I just don't trust him. He didn't seem like the same guy I saw before. But as usual, nobody listens to me when I say there's some bizarre things going on aboard this ship. Perhaps Pergen is a, a derogatory racist term for thief. <laughs> They just think I'm drinking too much, and it's making me para, para, uh, see things. I'm sorry, but I ain't been drunk for two weeks, not since the last time when I was near to dying. For sure I ain't gonna calm down. I'll patrol days and nights too if I have to, to keep an eye out for anything weird. I ain't leaving nothing to chance. Okay, it's not the longest book ever. Also, this guy, whoa. Nice flame. I'm just, like, super easily charmed by nice graphics. This guy probably had delirium tremens, and I feel very for him. I mean, I've never had it, obviously. You know, I hear it's pretty rad. I have had a massive panic attack. That was pretty nightmarish, although I didn't feel bugs crawling in my skin. But uh, I did feel a fear that my heart was going to explode. It was not at all hilarious, but it is now, so I should have saved before that. These guys don't sleep with their gold on their waist. How could they... 
Also, do I have my loot go yet? No, see, the loot is very in small amounts. I've almost got it, though. So, yeah, I guess that really isn't the main challenge. <sighs> Sound. I'm guessing there's going to be some story or plot point that makes me be able to kill or at least knock out guys because that's what I was told. No. Oh, this is the important room. It's got crates like every other room. You know, it's this mission, the ships are awesome. They're not very really done very often. And this looks pretty cool, but it's just got a whole lot of rooms with crates and it just needs a bit more spice. Not necessarily actual spice, but you know what I mean. Spice. Well, this must be important. Oh, oh. And... Oh, that was the loot. Jeez, I was gonna say, if that was the goblet, it looks just like that other thing that was not the goblet, but no. I guess, I guess, yeah, for the fancy loot, you gotta go into the fancy places. That's, that's kinda spicy, I guess. Some of these doors are metal. I don't know why. I guess because this is the bathroom, and so everything here is metal. Everything. Wow, that's a classy-looking tub, though. Nice-looking water, too. My God. Why can't I ever go in these things? It's so... Looks like I should. Are those supposed to be towels? Is that what you're trying to tell me, bunk bed man? Well, is it? Breathe. <sighs> and... Funny statement. Not good, reliable power just goes to show. Coal is old and busted. That's what the slogan for renewable energy should be. Coal is old and busted. It's very catchy. And as you all know, I'm the master of coming up with catchphrases. Actually, you guys came up with a bunch of catchphrases for me, which I'm going to just steal and co-opt. But hey, hey, buddy, is it true? We got crazed pirates on our backs. We, uh, um, we, we got a weapon storage on board, but the captain can't remember the code. He enters the numbers, but it don't work, even though he seems sure of his typing. He wrote the code on a sheet of paper, so he don't have to remember it, but he lost it coincidentally when we left the city. I hope he didn't steal official documents to sell on the black market again just to earn some gold. Meet me tomorrow, usual place. We need to talk. <laughs> I don't know why I started doing the Kara's voice, but... Well, I do know why. Because the Kara's voice is fun. I can't see goddamn crap up in here. I guess that's why I've got these flares. I should probably use them, because God knows I ain't going to use them for anything else. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some secrets around here. Using the flares, I guess. I really don't care. Flares can fillate my freaking hair follicles. Whoa! Yeah, this... This definitely appears like there should be some... That joke. Should be some uh, dudes walking around here. I'm a little confused. Studies of Overseas Legends, Volume 2. Foghorn, a magical tool that, with the sea fog, can conjure a boat that will disappear again after a couple of hours. A rare tale... I don't think that's what a foghorn does there. A rare tale mentions the survivors of a shipwreck who came back to civilization after years lost at sea, claiming to have found the horn. But the fact that not one of them kept the tool casts doubt upon their claim. More likely, the object is a metaphor for a fragile raft used to reach a ship sailing past. Yeah, a metaphor. A horn is a metaphor for a raft, yeah. I'll purchase that with my wallet. Okay, but seriously, aren't... It's asymmetrical. <laughs> Isn't this the place where I got caught? Isn't this the place where the dude walks? Yes. Where did he go? That's... Weird. He's over there. Uh-oh, crap. <laughs> and, and apparently a guard comes down here too, but he's probably stuck upstairs again. So... Okay, so did I or did I not? I guess I did look in these... Doors... I guess? Yeah, this is... Okay, I'm confused now. I'm, I'm trying to go to the back. I'm trying to go to that side of the ship. I guess I need to go to that level or friggin' something? Okay, well I got over here with being alerted a bunch of times, I guess. And, uh, here's the upper, 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 upper floor where... Probably need to go. Hey, calm the heck down, dude. Calm the heck down. All right. Ever since that pickpocket, I'm becoming paranoid. I should calm down. It's just what I said, mate. <laughs> so, you're not wearing red. You better hope I find you before the guards do. <laughs> I don't think there's any need for me to hope. 
You AIs are not very competent. Unlike the Dark Mod, where they're only occasionally not very competent. I, uh, I don't know if I can read this. I, uh, I, uh, what, a uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what happens when the, uh, the, the, the uh, Blackjack, uh, makes contact with the pig? Uh-oh. Blatantly bad idea. Up in here. Whoa. Whoa, he's probably gonna come right into this room, isn't he? God, I can't even take the valuable perfume. What is this crazy? Hammerite Compendium. Per is this from the... Is this... This isn't from the original game. This is made up, is it? And the Master Builder came before a man fleeing from a flood. The man screamed at him, Help me, my lord! Water is coming and the land is being drowned! What shall I do? The Builder then gave him an axe, saying, Walk now on what land remaineth, and work to build a fortress to protect thyself. After one month had passed, the builder found the man high in the mountains, living among a small grove of trees that had not been cut down. Lord, the man cried, I am not strong enough to use this axe. Water hath destroyed my house. I cannot fight against it. Then the master builder smashed the man's legs and cut out his tongue, saying to the man, Shame on the man who doth flee and make excuses to justify his cowardice and try to run game on a man. I gave to thee an axe, and thou would not use it. Thou shalt now build thyself a ship, and in thy ship thou shalt live, and thou shalt fish upon the waters that so frighten thee. Thou shalt seek out refugees and rescue thy brothers from the flood, and when the water recedeth, thou shalt build for me a city. Then will thy cowardice be forgiven." Then the man used his arms to construct a ship, a crew, a port, and a city, and never again used his legs to flee. That sounds very original. I don't remember seeing that, though. But if dude wrote it, then he did an excellent job of capturing the flavor there. Very good. It actually sounds like something from Thief 3, where it's like, uh, the son goes like, Father, I cannot use this axe thing. First made Archimers are I'm going mad with these singing sailors. I've tried asking them to stop their din, switch off their machine, and go back to work, but I'm wasting my time. When they decide to sing, they sing! The captain told me to relax. They're just cabin boys who sing to their ancestral sea god and spirits, or to the master builder, and that it helps keep a positive attitude on board and prevents panic. To me, it's absurdly lax. That terrific wax cylinder machine of theirs will find itself underwater, in the abyss near the Kraken, instead of aboard ship. The captain is clearly more hypnotized by the gold sent by the dock warden than anything else. Yeah, he pays well and helps us a lot when he could just as easily take our cargo and smash our house's ro <laughs> house roofs as punishment, as he's done more than a hundred times to guys who offended him. Anyway, we're risking our necks. Peregrin crews still exist. They will never forget that we are defending their thief, not what he stole. Mortabald wants us to sell the goblet to a rich man when we reach Cyric. To me, there is no worse idea. They will slay us. We must give them back the artifact and try to negotiate for the boy's life. But he's stubborn. He'll decide what to do and never change his mind. Of course, he's my captain and like a father to me. I will obey in all circumstances, but I'm worried about the next few days. I have a really bad feeling about this. We've got many new guards and sailors, but we don't know them. Webster seems to know where they come from, but does he knows who they are? We can't be certain there are no intruders among them. I've decided to bring crates of food to Webster Jr. to make sure he won't starve during the voyage, and to make sure he'll reach Cyric safely. I gave him the key to his quarters and told him not to open the door to anyone if he has the least doubt. Okay, so he gave, I'd bring Webster Jr. the key to somebody's quarters. Okay. The captain seems to be sure of his plans. I hope he didn't make a mistake somewhere. I am the mistake. Bwahaha. You know, because I, I grew up on a street and my parents were like, It was a mistake. We do not know how to manufacture a condom. We don't have vats of rubber and safety nets. We are dumb. Oh, no. Studies of Overseas Legends, Volume 4. Skull Goblet. A mysterious pagan goblet made from bones and silver, which, according to legend, is able to bring back from the dead the last man to drink from it during a specific ritual. It seems that the goblet remains hidden and protected by traps in a lost temple, the whereabouts of which has yet to be discovered. Awesome! Probably will never get there because... 
it's probably not a campaign, or is it? Holy hell, what if it was? That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, oh, hmm. During a voyage, a careless crew ran out of food. The ship sailed too slowly for them to reach land before they starved. Then the captain thought of a solution. He called the crew to uh, assemble and said, Our hammers and tools maketh us too heavy. We have no use for them on the open sea. Let us drop them. Oh, we know where this is going. Drop them overboard that our ship may be lighter and faster. Then the brothers did as he bade them, dropping their hammers into the sea, and the boat became swift. So fast did they now move that before they knew it they had reached a flow of ice which quickly surrounded the ship. They searched for some way out, but without their hammers they could not break free, and so, locked in ice and unable to reach the nearest port, they died. Of course, if they would have died anyway, as it says here, but whatever, a tool may be heavy and unused today, but may save thee on the morrow. Keep thy hammer always to hand for all tasks on land and on sea. Even if it means that you gon' die. <laughs> okay, there's a guy here somewhere. I, he was in that room. I got to remember that. Or else I'm gone. <laughs> oh, that's valuable. Along with the leaves and frickin' everything. Now all the readables come at once. Garwell's treasure. Garwar will do you in. Ah, 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 ah. This is a legend about a man from the town of Baronial Harbor who was said to have hidden one of the most important treasures of all time. After much research, it appears that Garwell was in fact talking about the beauty of the islands rather than actual gold. This hypothesis has been upheld by Eastport's Council of Pirates and Sailors. Oh, I'm sure you can trust them. Oh. Jeez. I see you there. Please do not come into this room, sir. Please. Captain Mortibald's journal. We all speak the same. Mr. Webster has charged us with the care of his son. The foolish boy has taken an object that should never have been touched. The skull goblet. Only a fool would steal such a thing. The Pergans were looking for it, and now they're after this young man's head as well. The Dock Warden is a friend of mine, and a useful man who helps me do my business without any trouble. I avoid taxes, and I have the honor of captaining this wonderful ship, the Iron Bottle. In fact, to wear his colors and work for him is usually more good than bad, though I wish I could avoid such jobs as this. And such guests! This is a real curse! I must take him to Cyric, in the east, and make sure he's kept in a safe house with experienced bodyguards where no one will harm him. As for the artifact, Mr. Webster told me he doesn't care about how valuable it might appear in the eyes of a fence, that this object is very dangerous, and that I should get rid of it when and wherever I can. I know I can't just destroy such an object, but I don't want the Pergans to get their dirty hands on it. This thing is a real problem magnet. Maybe I'll just sell it to the first rich guy that I meet in Cyric. We're sailing on the Elm Ocean. I know that the currents are violent, and it seems that Pergans inhabit the islands. This is not the safest area. It's risky, but I remain optimistic. The Iron Bottle has a powerful engine that drives it so fast and strong that no wave can harm it, and there's a forward cannon, powerful and accurate, to defend us. No boat can attack us except from in front due to our speed, so we can't be defeated. Plus, I've put my most trusted men in the control room, so no spy can infiltrate and foil our plans. The Master Builder is said to favor the brave, and I have a brave crew for this mission. Guys that Webster himself suggested. Another captain, named Davidson, has also agreed to lend us some men to complete the team, and he sent me experienced guards. It's true that these men are not really disciplined, but they seem to know their job, and that's the most important thing for security during the trip. My first mate seems to dislike them. To him, they are slackers. I think he's just nervous, but he'll calm down soon enough. A crew is more efficient if treated like metal. Good and bad ore are mixed together to get something stronger. At least with our large food stores, there's no chance of mutiny. Even the guards trust me, and they're right to do so. Webster's son is in his own apartment above the guards' quarters. No intruder can enter without being spotted. But the stupid kid doesn't seem to understand the situation. My sailors are not his servants and don't take orders from him. His guards understand this perfectly, though. Our lives will depend upon this ship and her captain, and I will command from the start of the trip to the end. Then I guess that my crew and I will relax, have a nice, peaceful, well-earned vacation once we finish this mission. And now I'm going to get caught. Right. This is, this is not put outable, right? 
Okay. I don't know where that guy is, but I'm not going to stick around and find out. Oh. No man can infiltrate. one of us. Whoa. No man can infiltrate, A. Eh? Hmm. I guess not. Ooh. Please switch that switch. Looks like I'm supposed to. It's just the pipes acting up again. Well, there was probably a hint in that readable as to like what to do, but I just I just don't remember. So this is the control, but like, what would I really do in a control room? Anyway, no, dang it. Okay, um, I yeah, uh, I don't. Oh, I see. I still don't quite know what to do. Though, when this video is now 40 minutes, one would hope that it's a more entertaining 40 minutes than that other one that didn't ever get released. But hey, okay, scouting time. Is there any of this crap readable? Oh, who this guy? Well, that's loot that I don't need. Somebody There's a working him. compass. This is pretty cool. So I gotta go way over there to find some stairs and get up there, I guess. Looks like it's nothing. <sighs> I guess I'm just tired. Eh. 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 Get the dagger, you sodding dumbass. It's pretty cool that these deck swabbers kind of move around just a swabbing and a whipping and a sweeping and a bopping. So, no you are shoveling the deck, not swabbing it. I'm not sure you understand how this. Go back to your coal. You're not even supposed to be here. Also, lift with your legs, not with your back. <laughs> Believe me. Seriously, this is like. You're supposed to. You should have a broom. Not a shovel. You look ridiculous. I'll move and move and please move. Oh, please, would you move? I would like you to move. Oh, I'm singing in a let's play and there's nothing you would do about it, so kiss my hair follicles. Whoa, no, that's a little too romantic there. Hair in the mouth is just oh, really romantic. Have I been there yet? I don't friggin' know. You, like, go. What? St Wait a minute, that guy's not even supposed to move. I'm pretty sure. Like... He's not even- yeah, he, he moved away from his spot of Why shoveling, and now come? he's just- We're thieves after all. Yeah. Forced it ghost missions been. never freaking function right away. I have been here, I guess. Maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> well, as long as you just stay there, I think we are going to have a nice relationship. You and I, those magic cards? No, they're guard cards. Okay, so apparently if I go over to this side, there's some stairs up. I didn't notice, but all right. Are you proud of me? Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, it's time for me to infiltrate the thing that can never be infiltrated, hair follicles. I'm in really forbidden territory now. Whoa, hey, that's cool. That's like that's the same sort of thing the TTX used for the train, except it looks blatantly faker here, but hey, it is still pretty sweet looking. That's a pretty darn fast ship, at least by my reckoning. And my reckoning is very, 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 very dangerous. It's gonna wreck you all up with, oh, over the place. Seriously, more readables? Okay. Pergans, hey, I finally find out what this racist term means. A legendary crew believed to be the lone pirate band that followed the pagan religion. Combining pagan magic with professional surprise attacks against ships and harbors, this was thought to be the most dangerous team in the world. Their raids stopped after their captain was killed by unknown persons on a nameless island. He was beheaded and his... Oh, pyrogens, pirates and pagans. Ah, 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 He was beheaded and his body thrown into the sea. It has been speculated that Hammerites were responsible, but the truth remains unknown. The band is believed to remain always near their hideout somewhere in the Elm Ocean Islands, but no one has ever seen them again. It is more likely that the crew disbanded after their leader's demise. So there's only one set of islands in the entire Elm Ocean. Be you know, that's, that's, that's so that people will be limited in their ability to build houses and uh, to, you know, exist at all so that they will have less dreams and drive away the uh, nightmares on Elm Ocean. That was forced, I'm sorry. I have a bad feeling about this. Do you? Okay, well good, I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, this is probably the, the cabins of the dudes. 
So obviously, yeah. Gotta extend this video even more! If anybody is still watching, congratulations! Those charts normally go pretty far down like this. Do, do, do. Anyway. Oh, it's another joke. Oh, threat. <sighs> Dear Webster Jr., you took from us something that was very important to us. Your thievery in our old temple will never be forgotten. You should know that the Woodsy Lord will forgive you only with your blood. Wherever you go, we will find you and return your flesh to the earth. And all the people will see you, in you, an example. You are a dead man. Pyrogen, first mate. Math child. I really like numbers. Webster Jr.'s journal. I had to flee and leave my father and my home behind. This stress is killing me. I'm unable to sleep because of it. This story, this ship, this captain. I want to be back on land. Each night, such sounds. Each day, I feel them closer than the day before. Killing our men. I'm scared just thinking about it. And these damn sea monkeys and their boss. If I ask for something, they dare to refuse me. Me! I'm the Dark Warden's son. I should be respected. But they won't listen to me. Even my own guards don't obey. They just nod politely, but they don't do anything I ask. I asked one of them to bring me some wine. I'm still waiting. But I get the point. The captain controls everything because Mister is the man here. This is his ship and our life depends on his management. Mister is the man. And go is God and he never tires of repeating. And nobody takes care of me except perhaps the first mate. He's a lonely guy who just does his job, even if he does do it strangely. He sent me food and the key to my quarters and asked me to lock myself in. Am I a prisoner now? This is unacceptable to live like this. It's for my safety, he said, but the loneliness is driving me mad, just like my life. All I can do is read books about the guys who want to kill me. If I'm lucky, I might learn enough to save myself from them. If I meet one of them, I won't resist. I'll give him the goblet and all the loot I've stolen. And if I survive, I'll never do that again. Ooh! Well, good. Good boy there. You are, you are the best boy. So what bad feeling do you have about this? It's some food. What possible bad feeling could we have? Also, that goblet, I'm going to steal it, and then the guys are going to come after me. Maybe this entire mission also includes an island. That's possible. That would be like freaking what, even? I would like that a lot, almost as much as explosions in my TV shows. Wait a minute, am I going the wrong way here? I don't think so. Yes, I am, aren't I? Yeah. Wait, he had a bad feeling about this. Is this the goblet? No. So what possible bad feeling could you have about this room? Hey, that... Hey! It's that new dark material sparkle shine fake environment map thing on there. Hey, I like that. I asked for more of it in that one mission. Do you remember it? Oh my god, what? How do you do these reflective... What? Wait. Thief can't do reflective surfaces. What the hell is this witchery? Ah, uh -huh, well, you see, and I got it. Ask and you shall receive. Please believe this new thought process. It's true, I swear. Hey, it's a valuable perfume. Why couldn't I take the other valuable perfume? Maybe those guys can see me through the window. That'd be funny. To see me taking the valuable perfume and think that I like perfume. Oh, that would be horrible. Oh, I guess the guy's dead. Oh, that's what you have a bad feeling about. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I guess he just couldn't stand the loneliness. That's very convenient, because if he hadn't committed suicide, I would be literally boned. Literally, I would have bones. But fortunately, I don't have bones. Wow, this is like the most on point I've been 50 minutes into a video in my life. I'm very impressed with myself. Oh, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Pat myself on the back. Oh, just, yeah, I feel so good. Pat myself. Oh, yeah. Just, but, okay, but seriously. Oh, whatever. Great. Well, I, I, I wanted the readables and I certainly got them, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think. This guy is doomed. And this door is in the unlocked position. Uh-oh. Okay, seriously, do not alert people. What is going on over there? Uh-oh. Hey, awesome! Like, there's motions all over this. That is so cool! Custom motions, like, almost nobody does that. I love that. Oh. But he, he makes the foot tapping sound rather a lot there. I guess it's supposed to, you know, frighten you. Wow, this is cool. 
Wow. What? Okay, uh, let's let's try this in a different way, such as this. I keep forgetting you can just jump right up onto the ladders. And I guess I guess that this this is the guy's chambers? What? That key was for the chambers. Well, anyways, now it's time to go over to this side using my remaining moss arrows, which are not going to be enough to get me over there, probably. This is what I'm talking about. You get, like, five moss arrows in a mission. People, like, use them. I'm like, if I use them, it wouldn't cover half a room. Well, this is what I'm talking freaking about here. Uh, well... Uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, seriously. Imagine if I use these like this in the Art of Thievery. It'd be like one freaking room. It'd be like, well, you've made your choice. What? Uh-oh. Oh, this is the... What? Oh, I keep doing that mantle in the air thing. Search Webster Jr.'s quarters for information on the whereabouts of the Skull Goblet. <laughs> Hit. I haven't been there. I haven't been there. I probably wouldn't want to go there. Holy And in the room that Garrett had a bad feeling about dangling participle, we find... My secrets. The captain told me to put the skull goblet far away from me, and he's surely right. This thing has already caused too much trouble for me. I don't want more. We've decided to place it in a safe on the lowest level amid the damp and the loud creaking where nobody goes. At least these pirates won't know where to find it. We're the only two people who know where it is. Even the first mate doesn't know. It's a bit strange. Sometimes I'm hesitant to bring it back, to reveal it to the world, perhaps because deep inside I fear that the pyrogens could just take it and go. My life is not as important as the goblet after all. And how do I get to the lowest level? And I better do this quick. I still can't alert anybody. Quick? Am I on a timer or something? Because that, that door on the lowest level wouldn't open. Maybe it'll randomly open for me now? Huh? Maybe so, right? Well, well, let's give it a try, I suppose. See you there! And I blew all my moss at- No, I didn't. Oh, the door's open now. Just know the horror is going to happen here. Well, it's not even the lowest freaking level. It should be. Oh, crap. Yeah, right. There's- well, we're all ready for jump scares, so let's just get him over with. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Come on, I'm psyched up now, come on. Uh. What was that? Did that just appear? Uh oh. Good. Well, this was a lost cause. Time to get out before I end up in the cell next door. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Sinking? Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> oh, shit. I am on an island or something. Oh my god. Awesome. Oh, oh, my. We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.